pray. Our Father, our God, Lord, we come once again to say thank you today, God. Thank you for all your many full blessings today, God. We thank you for how you have, oh, God, blessed us. How you have provided for us. How you have covered us, oh, God. How you healed us when we were sick. Oh, God, gave us shelter, God, when we was outdoors, oh, God. Father, you've done so many things for us. We just can't thank you enough. I pray right now, God, as I stand here at this sacred desk, at this hour, God, that thou would anoint my lips of clay, God. Oh, God, as you allow me to speak as an oracle of you, God, that I take no glory. Oh, God, but I give all the glory to you today, God. For you alone is worthy, God. Oh, God, all the glory belongs to you today, God. Pray right now that you would anoint that head, that heart, oh God, that soul that is in this house on today, God. Touch them right now, God. Open up their ears that they may hear, their hearts that they may receive what you have to say. And Father, if you do this, we'll be so careful to give you all the praise and glory. Come on, put your hands together. Amen. And give God some praise in the house.
but in my infirmities. Hallelujah today, God. For though I would desire to glory, I shall not be a fool. For I will say the truth, but now I forbear, lest any man should think of me above that which he seeth me to be, or that he heareth of me. And lest I should be established above measures through the abundance of the revelations that was given to me a thorn in the flesh, the messenger of Satan to buffet me, lest I should be exalted above measure. For this thing I besought the Lord thrice, that it might depart from me. And he said unto me, My grace is sufficient for thee, for my strength is made perfect in weakness. Most gladly, therefore, will I rather glory in my infirmities, that the power of Christ may rest upon me. And God's word is blessed. Amen. God bless you. You may be seated. Amen. For the text, amen, reference, amen, I'd just like to go back in that seven. It says, and lest I should be exalted above measures, amen, through the abundance of the revelations that was given unto me a thorn in my flesh. The messenger of Satan to buffet me, lest I should be exalted above measure. For this thing I besought the Lord thrice, that it might depart from me. And he said unto me, My grace is sufficient for thee. My strength is made perfect in weakness. If I could have your attention, amen, for a few minutes on this morning, amen, and God bless the whole house that has already been addressed today, amen, amen. thank God for First Lady being with us here on today. Amen. Look at your name and say, neighbor, neighbor. in spite of my thorns, thorn. tell somebody I survived. I said, in spite of my thorns, I survived. Are there any survivors in the house today? Am I the only one, amen, that had some things, amen, to come up against me, amen, amen, to buffet me, amen, to almost make me want to throw in the towel, amen, but tell somebody again, I survived. I survived. As we look here at one of the most notable men, amen, of scripture, amen, of the sacred scripture, amen, the apostle Paul who was revered by some and despised by others. Similar to King Saul, amen, he stands head and shoulders above the rest. He's responsible, amen, for one half of the new Testament writings, talking about Paul today, yes, and more than half, amen, if we give him credit for the book of Hebrews. Yes, Are y'all going to pray for me today? Yes. Paul is not, amen, an imaginary figure, amen, nor is he fictional, but he's one like many of us, amen, who stands out, amen, wrong, but ended up, started out wrong, but ended up right. Yes. Good God of mine. When so much controversy arose, amen, concerning his personage, amen, he, he, he describes himself in the book of Philippians, amen, the third chapter, amen, and the verse, amen, the fifth verse, amen, as being circumcised, the eighth day, he, 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 amen, he's of the stock of Israel, he's of the tribe of Benjamin. Amen. He's a he he's a Hebrew of Hebrews. As touching the law, amen, of Pharisees. 
If I could get just a little bit more volume in the monitors, Brother Deacon, thank you so much this morning. Amen. His father states, amen, that, 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 that what things were gained to me, those I counted lost, amen, for Christ. Amen, amen. Y'all can talk back to me a little bit this morning. Amen. amen. There was an unusual potency, amen, depth, amen, in the ministry of Paul. Amen. He had an uncounting, amen, perseverance. Perseverance. Amen. 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 A stick to itness. Yes. Amen. He knew that several individuals despised him. Yeah. Oh, I wish I could put a pen right there. <laughs> amen. And yet, he also knew, amen, he was chosen of God. Yeah. Look at somebody tell him, don't you know you're chosen of God? Don't you know you're chosen of God. Ah, good God Almighty. Let me tell you this, this, amen, that, amen, you, beloved, amen, are not a mistake. I come to tell somebody today, God intended, amen, for you to exist at this particular time in history. Amen, but don't, amen, don't just exist. Amen, don't just, amen, be a spot. Amen, don't just be like, amen, old folks say looking like a knot on a log. Amen, but tell somebody you got the eye. God Almighty. Yes, sir. Amen, amen. God doesn't just want you to take a seat, but he wants you to take up space in the earth. Thank you, Lord Jesus. He wants you to be a witness for my Lord. He wants, amen, you to make a difference in the lives of others, amen, by your example. Yes, sir. Thank you, Lord. Let them know there's nothing too hard for God. Paul is our example today of a man that finished his course as a mover and as a shaker in the kingdom of heaven. He knew no limits because he understood that God is able to do exceedingly. God is able to do abundantly above all that we could ask or think. He's born in Tars, brought up in Jerusalem. God obviously had a plan for him, amen, and made sure that his path would cross the path of Dilma. One of the most respected, amen, rabbis of his day. His zeal for Jewish law, amen, his enthusiasm, amen, for ancestral traditions yes, outshine many of his colleagues as he proved to be a man one for the people today. Yes. Due to his constant pursuit of God, he experienced many joys, but also was introduced, introduced to many sorrows, if you please. Y'all praying for me in the house today? The church, the church at Corinth was a lively church. Amen. It was a large church. It was a talented church. Amen. But, amen, deficient in spirituality and moral attitude. The Corinth had more problems in the church, amen, than we have time even to listen to today. Amen. Am I in the house on the day? Amen. Good God of mine. And unfortunately for Paul, not only did he have, amen, to defend the faith against false teachers, but he also had to defend his own apostleship as one who was absolutely, positively called by God. Thank you, Jesus. Since there were no new things under the sun, he had an encounter of this spirit, amen, this attitude before. Even when Jesus was at Jerusalem at the feast of the dedication, you know in John the 10th chapter, amen, that had, they had trouble grasping who he really was. And Jesus told them himself, 
Though you believe not me, believe the works. That ye may know and believe that the Father is in me. Amen. And I in him. Somebody ought to give God a praise right now. Uh, for we know people by what they do and not by what they say. I really want to put a pen there. Amen. But tell somebody, make sure you do what you say you're going to do. Come on, you ought to tell another brother, sister. Amen. If you say you're going to do something, you say you're gonna do something. will you follow through? Come on, put your hands together right there. Lord, I really want to dwell there, but I got some place to go today. Yes, Amen. So, so, you always look at a person's work. Ah, on, because their work describes who they are. You can have all the faith in the world. But faith without works is. Thank you, Bible readers. Amen. Faith without work is dead. People do a whole lot of talking about, amen, what they will do, amen, and, and, and what they would like to do. Good God Almighty. But look at a person's record of what they have all. Oh, thank you, Jesus. In other words, look at a person's life of what they have already accomplished. What they have already been involved in. And it gives you some credibility, some amen, some, some assurance. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Good God Almighty. Yes, we live in a world where people size you up based on your appearance. Amen. Based upon your education. Amen. Or the like thereof. Uh -huh. Many times you're, amen, miss a person who has really done something when you just look at their particulars. God has no respect of persons. How many of y'all remember that? I said God has no respect. I don't care what your educational level is. I don't care how much money is in your pocket, yes, yes, your bank account, yes, your CDs, yes, your 401k. Yes, I said God has no respecter yes, of persons. Yes, he used a rooster yes, to throw Peter back to repentance. Yes, he used a little boy's lunch to feed the hungry. Am I in the house today? Yes, he used the muddy waters of Jordan yes. to clean up a leprous, amen, Syrian commander. Mm -hmm. He used a prostitute. Did I say a prostitute? Yeah, he used a prostitute. Oh my God. Amen, amen. Name Rahab to hide the spies of Israel so Jericho could come down. Somebody. Y'all say he can use me. Good God Almighty. Let me slow down just a little bit. In our text, in our text today, is a beautiful illustration of a man of God, the apostle of the Lamb, who after years of service, amen, and years of humiliation and years of suffering. Tell somebody you're gonna have to suffer. You're gonna have to suffer. Is allowed to experience something, amen, that is unique. Something that only, amen, 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 for a selected few. I trust that one day that you, amen, will re amen, will relieve, amen, be relieved of that God will not show, amen, you everything. That he shows his chosen vessels. Yes, sir. We may not want to accept it, amen, but amen, he has a few Pacific individuals that have an, a unique and a sign. Amen. Tell somebody, everybody can't do the same thing. Amen. There's a few unique 
amen, assignments for some chosen individuals. They have a unique an anointing on the life that make them stand out, amen, from others. Amen. Can I just name a few? Let's look at the life of Enoch. Walk with God. Amen. It was not for God just took him. Enoch. Let's look at Samuel. Grew up and the Lord was with him. Hallelujah. Did let none of his words fall on the ground. Talking about Samuel. Yes, sir. How many of you know about Elijah today? Yes, was taken up to heaven yes. on a whirlwind by a chariot of fire. Yes. Driven by a horse of fire. Yes, with a bit of fire in their mouth. Yes, Look at God. So God has some unique things for unique people. No need for you to feel bad. If he did use you in a mysterious way like this, just be glad, amen, you're in the number. Just be glad that you're still being used of God. Because if God, if God is using that means you are giving God the glory today. Yes. That means that you're living something so God can use you. Yes, sir. If God's hand is on you, that means that the devil cannot disrupt you. You cannot be used by God and the devil at the same time. Either God is using you or the devil is using you. But God and the devil can't use you at the same time. The Apostle Paul, amen, had experienced things that many people could not bear. Chosen to bear record of the Lord to the Gentiles. He was specifically, amen, equipped for ministry, amen, and its uncertainty. Help me say Paul. Oh. Paul's own testimony oh. is enough to make us realize that, amen, that he is no ordinary man. Yes, sir. Others wanted to question his true identity, amen, and they did ask, amen, are they Hebrews? Amen. And when the question was asked, are they Hebrews, probably Paul just simply said, so am I. Amen. And the Israelite, are they Israelites? Amen. Paul just simply said, so am I. Amen. Are they the seed of Abraham? Paul said, so am I. Hallelujah. Paul even asked, are they the ministers of Christ? Yes, sir. Then he used some sense. I speak as a fire. I am more. People said he had a problem with bragging. That's what the people said. But he said, I'm more in laborers because a laborer is more abundantly than an apostle. Come on now. I said, God needs some laborers. How many really want to be some laborers in the vineyard of God on today? God is looking God, for God. some laborers in stripes above measures, in prison for more frequently, in death often. Often of the Jews five times received thou for the stripes, save one. In other words, I serve despite my thorn. Tell somebody you got the work. In spite of your thorn. Tell somebody you got the work. In spite of the conditions in your body. You got the work. In spite of what somebody is saying about you. You got the work. In spite of all the hell that you may be going through. Even in your own home today. Tell somebody work. Come on, hunt another brother, another sister. Amen. Tell them that we got the work. 
Got to work. Amen. I, I'm not talking about no diva that you may be sitting beside. I, I, I'm not talking about that brother that thinks he got a swagger. But tell somebody that loves God, you got to work. You got to work. Good God. Oh, Lord. All of us, if you don't have one now, you just keep on living. Yeah. Amen. Just keep on living. Thorns are thorns and things, amen, those unpleasant trees that hinder you, that sometimes hurt you in order to discourage you. Amen. All thorns want to do is slow you down. A thorn, a thorn, amen, wants to make you throw in the towel. Can I talk about a thorn? A thorn wants to discourage you to somewhat cripple you. Amen. And Paul, amen, put a name on his thorn. Paul identified his thorn as a messenger of Satan. Amen. For he said, amen, that the Lord allowed the devil to send a messenger of Satan to buffet me, to disturb me, to hinder me. For he describes his, his experience as to reserve himself from boasting about it. Good God Almighty, because God had to give Paul such a unique ministry. Amen. He had many experience, amen, as he traveled along the way. Sometimes folks that has an unusual experience with the Lord can tend to be just a little bit boastful. God does not give you the experience to boast, but he wants you to be an encouraged, amen, amen, by your experience, amen, and know that God is with you, and he has something for you, amen, tell somebody, I thank God for my thorns, tell somebody, I survived in spite of my thorns, good God Almighty, I survived in spite of my thorns. Yes, the thorns try to make you forget that God has a blessing with your name on it. The thorn, the enemy would try to make you focus on the thorns instead of on the blessings that God has in store for you. But if I keep my eyes on him, he will me. Tell somebody in perfect peace. Tell your neighbor, neighbor, in spite of your thorns, in spite of that thing that is bumping you right now, in spite of that thing that seemed to try to hold you fast, in spite of what the doctors have told you that may be from here on out. Tell somebody, in spite of your thorn. Tell that person you're blessed. Come on, tell somebody you're blessed. You're blessed, you're blessed, you're blessed. Because God wants to use you. Listen, whether you know it or not, I'm through. I'm through. Tell somebody I survived in spite of my thorns. Think about that. Love flows because God is in control. A church where God is really real? Hi, my name is Dennis Rogers, pastor here at the Greater New Bible Way Church of God in Christ. I would like to welcome you to our services. Service times are Sunday morning prayer and Sunday school, 9 a.m. Sunday morning worship, 11 a.m. Sunday evening Pentecostal service, 7 p.m. Midweek service, Thursday, 7 p.m.